Hello, hello, friends. I hope you have been having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Today, I am going to revisit vintage purses. These are all going to sell between about $400 and $500. I am leaving out the big designer brands, and I'm doing that because a lot of times those are hard to authenticate. And unless you have a bunch of experience and are able to do so, you might spend a lot of money on something that's not worth anything. So we are going to leave out the Louis Vuitton, the coach, all of that. We are not going to show that. We are going to show other vintage purses. There are some great beaded ones, Lucite. Super excited to show you different designs and styles that sell for that four to $500 mark. I personally have found quite a few of the beaded ones that are worth over 200. So I know those are definitely out there. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, friends, these purses are out there. I will tell you, you most of the time are going to have to pay up. You're probably going to have to pay over $100, but if they sell for four or 500, you are still making a good profit. So please, please keep that in mind that sometimes you got to spend some money to make money. If you're a collector, maybe you will see a purse that you own or one that you hope to acquire. And I hope you guys learn some different styles and looks to look for that are worth pretty good money. Up first is a vintage 1960s Corette in Italy, Lucite black handbag purse with white handles and brass accents. This one sold for $399. Watch for Lucite and you will see a few coming up in this video. Definitely something that sells very well. This one's got a very sleek, modern design. Here you can see that this is marked correct. So that is what you need to look for. And it does say man-made materials as well there. And they are showing that brass hardware. Here is the bottom of that purse. It is in good condition. And this one was a great sale at $399. This is a very, very super cute, rare, original Italy, mid-century modern golden owl face clutch purse with rhinestone eyes. This one sold for a best offer on $400. This is really, really cute. I think I probably would have put like emerald green there because those eyes are so green. Here is the interior of this purse in pretty good condition. And you can see here it does say Italy there. That is something you definitely want to keep an eye out for. There is that gold strap and a little closer on the face. There is the back. They are showing there is a small dent in this and that strap can go inside. It can be used as a clutch and this was a great sale, a best offer on $400. Next is a name you definitely need to know, and I have found a few of these. This is an antique Mandalian USA Art Deco woman lady plant flapper purse flower handbag. This one sold by it now for $396. With the Mandalians, the more colorful, the more detailed the pattern, typically the more they are worth. And this one sold for close to that $400 mark. I think the ones I have sold for closer to $200. So on the Mandalian here on the inside of the purse, they are clearly marked. So you would be able to identify them. And this one is a beautiful, beautiful design. I haven't seen any others with the beaded tassels like that. And this one was a great, great sale at almost $400. Up next is another artist you definitely need to know, and that is Enid Collins. This is a vintage Enid Collins wood box purse. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. This one sold for a best offer on $425. I will tell you some of Enid Collins purses only sell for around 50. So again, please make sure you are comping something similar, especially if you are paying up for an item. 
and we will take a look at this. It is a uh, wood and you can see there are scratches on this. There are marks. Here is the leather closure and really cool on the inside collector's item by Collins of Texas decorated for you with that little mirror really really neat little purse here and the graphics are great on this one you can see there are the measurements and again there are signs of wear and it is to be expected with purses of this age to have wear and still sold for close to 425 dollars Next is a really neat tortoise shell, small antique 1920s Art Deco purse. This one sold for a best offer on $450. And it does say it's in very good condition, no chips or cracks. And here you can see that clasp. This one is really, really cool with the tortoise shell. Definitely would have caught my eye, but again, not one I would have known would sell this high. And it's a very, very small purse and a great sale at almost $450. This beaded purse is so, so pretty. And I think the key for this one is that it's got the beads as well as the celluloid frame. So watch out for celluloid frames. This one sold for a best offer on $420. There are only two pictures here. You can see up close, there is that celluloid frame. So the butterfly design work on this is really, really good. But I think what kind of bumps that up in value is that celluloid frame as well as the strap and a great sale on an offer on $420. Next is this really cool vintage mid-century modern Lucite figural beehive honey purse. This is by Llewellyn Handbags. This one was an auction, only got one bid and sold for $450. This is another seller out of Florida. I got to find these purses, y'all. Here it is from the side. This one is in great shape, not hardly any scratches. Look at the top with the bees. How cool is that? The bees and the flowers. This is a really, really neat little purse and a great sale at $450. Next is an antique 1920s Egyptian Revival suede purse, hand embroidery, brass Faro Vintage. This one sold for Buy It Now of $445. This one definitely has a different look from most of them that we have seen. Look at that Faro on this one. Really, really nice graphic. There is some wear to that though that I see. Here is the brass strap. This one would have caught my eye for sure. And this one is quite detailed as you can see by all of these pictures. And the inside here is not in the greatest shape. So these do not need to be perfect to sell for this higher dollar price point. So keep that in mind. And again, this one is suede and a great, great sale. Buy it now at $445. Next is another Lucite purse. This one is a blue marbleized Lucite purse, carved clear top. This one was an auction, got 25 bids and sold for $461. And here you can see really, really neat with that marbleized Lucite there. The handles are clear as well as the top. And this one has the etching on the top. You can see here, it's kind of a floral design there. It does have a little bit of scratching, but not a lot. It is overall looks to be in pretty good condition for its age and a great, great sale for $461. And we will take a look here at the auction start. So this one got 25 bids between four bidders. It was a seven day auction and it was started at $150 and was bid up to that $461 mark. So great, great sale on this and a rare piece, which is very appropriate for auction.
Next is a Judith Lieber. And if you do not know, my highest sale to date was actually for two Judith Lieber purses. I will pop the video up for you guys. I actually paid $800 a piece for them and sold them for $3,000 each. It was a $6,000 sale. So I'll pop that video up for you guys up top if you'd like to see it. Judith Lieber is definitely a name you want to know. So this is a beautiful vintage Judith Lieber sterling silver gemstones handbag or clutch purse. This one was an auction, got 40 bids and sold for $462. We will take a look at the bidding after we take a look at the pictures here. This one for Judith Lieber is kind of toned down. The ones I had were covered in crystals, but this one is sterling silver. You can see the 1564 as well as the 925 mark. There is that Judith Lieber signature on the inside and great, great sale. I think this personally is low for this purse. It sold for 462. Let's take a look. So this one had eight different bidders. It was a 10 day auction and it was started at $50. So climbed over $400 above that start price, but for a sterling silver purse and Judith Lieber, I do feel that $462 was quite low. Next is an antique floral petite Chinese needlepoint. It does say jade bangle handbag purse as well as turquoise accents. This one sold by it now for $475. And here you can see that jade bangle that is the handle, which is pretty cool. And it does have the turquoise accents here. They do zoom in. I believe this is probably set in brass would be my guess. There's another inlaid. Here's a close up of that petite needle point. And this is a beautiful purse. You can see the inside again, it's not perfect and does not need to be. And this one was a great, great sale. Buy it now at $475. Next is a figural horse head wicker and leather handbag, 1960s equestrian. They did put Hong Kong question mark and that it's lined. Watch for animal wicker purses. They are worth money. This one sold for a best offer on $395. And here you can see this one, the wicker looks to be in excellent condition. There are the leather straps on the bottom. Here you can see the inside, so it is lined and they did put that in the title. There is some wear here to the leather strap, so they are zooming in showing that, as well as it looks like some red coloring there on the wicker. And here are some more defects. So you wanna make sure again to show all the defects on your pieces so that the buyers don't have any surprises when they come. So anything you think they might think is a defect definitely show it. And this was a great sale at almost $400. Next is another Lucite purse. This is a vintage Lucite purse hand pack. It does say clear coffin style. This one was another auction. It got 18 bids and sold for $493. And here you can see the photographs. This is actually another marbleized Lucite. You can see there on the back. And here it is opened. It does have the flowers inside of the lid there and a cute little butterfly. I probably would have added floral and butterfly to my title if this was mine. And this was a great sale sold for $493. And we will take a look here and see where that bidding started. So they had 18 bids, six different bidders. It was a seven day auction. And this one was started at $15.99. So incredible, incredible raise above that starting bid of over $450 and a great sale at almost $500. Next is a Willardy, Will Hardy shiny black lucite purse with a rhinestone handle. 
This one says it has a mirror. It is from the 1950s. This one sold for a best offer on $499. Here you can see the back of this one. So solid black lucite. Really most of the lucite does very, very well. You can see the mirror here on the inside actually looks like it has quite a bit of wear to that mirror. Here you can see they are showing the hinge and that is where it does say the Will Hardy. So that is how they identified this one. This one has quite a few scratches on it on the bottom there. And they do again show the mirror. And this is actually quite a bit smaller than I thought when I see it there in their hand. And again, great, great sale. Best offer on $499. Next is a rare celluloid red rose petal art, art deco era purse. This one sold for a best offer on $500. And we will take a look here. The rose is definitely the centerpiece and draw on this one. Really, really cool celluloid rose, quite large as well. And you can see there the handbag as well as the handles. Interior of this one is not in great condition. You can see that rose does split open for the purse to open, which is pretty cool. And this one was a great, great sale. Best offer on $500. All right, we are up to our top five. These are all right at that $500 point. This is a vintage antique. Five. This one's super cute. I almost would have been tempted to put Bambi in this title. Now, there was a little rip there at the top that I saw. There is a little rip here at the top that I see. There you can see the different colored fringe beads on the bottom and it hanging closer up of that design. And here is the interior again, showing some wear, but overall not bad condition for the age. And, and this one was a great sale, best offer on $495. Next is one of my favorites in this video. This is an antique micro beaded purse with fairies and nymph design with gym clasped swan handle in the box which is really, really neat to see and find. This one sold by it now for $499. Excellent condition. I absolutely love, love, love the fairies and the bird on this one. So, so neat. There you can see this is an excellent condition. It does have that gemstone clasp and accent as well. Look at the interior of this. This is such a beautiful purse. You can see the swans there. Such great characteristics on this one. This one you can see on the box. It says Josephson's Moline or Moline, Illinois. I'm not from Illinois. And a great, great sale at $499. We have got another Enid Collins coming in in these top five. This is a near mint Enid Collins of Texas, vintage 1966 purse bag or tote. It does say Flutterby. That is what's written on the purse. I probably would have put butterfly instead of the near mint on this one because a lot of people aren't going to be searching for Flutterby. And this one is really, really neat. The butterfly with the gemstones. This is not the typical wood box style of most of the Enid columns that you see. And this one looks to be in excellent, excellent condition. You can see that copyright 1966 Enid Collins. There is where that flutter by is stitched in. The wood on the bottom of this is excellent, excellent condition. This is a very, very nice purse. If I carried purses, I think I would like to have this purse. And this was a great, great sale at $499. Next is another vintage purse with the celluloid frame again. So watch for those celluloid. This one 
they accepted a best offer on $500. Look at how pretty. I think I would have showed this because those roses are definitely pretty. And I, I know the celluloid is definitely a draw, but this one is gorgeous with the black and the roses. And great, great sale. $500 best offer. All right, we are up to our top one, and that is this Willardy Clear Lucite Purse, embellished in rhinestones with the matching gloves. How neat is that? This one was an auction, but only got one bid and sold for $499. And this is so cool to see it with those matching gloves. You can see the squares on the Lucite Purse as well as the gloves. And this one is an oval shape, really, really neat Lucite purse. Definitely something you want to watch out for. I have not found any Lucite purses that I thought had enough room for profit. Most people that have these do know the value. And here you can see on the inside that Willardy stamp on the hinge. So you would be able to identify it. And the gloves, it looks like, are Founds Deluxe Cotton, size six and a half. And this one was a great sale. Again, start your auctions at the lowest you are willing to take, because like this one, you might only get one bid. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the vintage purses. I absolutely love looking at them. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. Share with your friends if you think they would be interested or like it. I do have a whole playlist full of nothing but research videos on different topics. If there's a certain topic you would like to see, throw it down in the comments for me, and we'll see if we can do a review of the top selling of an item that you would like to see. I appreciate all of my channel members so, so much. Thank you all for subscribing. We are getting close to 80,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing. I hope your weekend was wonderful and I hope to see you all on Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do have our podcast every week, so I hope to see you there. We answer your questions live, so come bring your questions, get them in early live, and we will get them answered for you. And I will see you on the next one.